Is that me? Nah, that's not me. Yo, check this out. We're gonna do free weights only day, today. So barbell, dumbbells only, upper body training. We're gonna do some shoulder press. What I'm gonna choose for um, shoulders is the type of volume work. Uh, what the fuck am I saying? You ever just talk and you just sound like you just pulling shit out your ass? When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. All right, guys. Today, free weights, barbells, dumbbells only, no machines. I rarely use machines much anyways. Um, so we're gonna be working on some shoulders, chest, and back, right? Because I'm going, going, back, back to the gym. All right, let's do this. I'm not gonna go heavy on barbell um, shoulder press, simply because every time I go heavy on barbell shoulder press, I always have shoulder problems. So we're not gonna do that, all right? We're gonna focus on repetition, all right? Bro, is that me? Oh, fuck this part, man. Today's like my third day on keto, actually. Keto or, or paleo, whatever the fuck it is. All I've been eating is bacon and eggs. And I'm down four pounds. I'm like halfway water, water buffalo belly. Water mm -hmm. buffalo belly is when you eat too soon or drink too much, like liquids, not like drink like liquor. You drink too much before you come work out. Or your like belly is all like, Yo, y'all were asking about my hat. My hat from Ubisoft. Ubisoft gave it to me, so I don't know if they're like viable at GameStop or something, but yeah, I actually like this hat a lot. I like feel really cool, dude. You know? Potato Squad. Respect. Shout out to Max Tuning fans out there. And Logan. want a nice slab of tricep. A nice slab of tricepius. Yeah, I'm weak too. So I'm having, today I've been like the laziest of my life, bro. Today, I, I probably fell asleep six times today. I'm, I'm not even over exaggerating. I fell asleep six times today. And every time I laid down or sat back, I was playing Fortnite, I, was, I sat back in my chair and I was like, like, yo. So my girlfriend is like, probably having like sugar withdrawals because I do eat a lot of sugar, I do eat a lot of carbs, and I've really cut that down like a lot. Like, usually the majority of my diet is like carbs, yeah. I kid you not, I'll eat like 80 grams of protein, but like 500 grams of carbs. And that's just how I eat, that's like normal. I don't eat much protein, but I eat a lot of carbs. But anyways, for me cutting out all those carbs, maybe to like, like almost nothing, it's tough. So uh, I'm feeling pretty uh, weak right now. I'm not even gonna lie, like this 135 is ridiculous. So I'm just gonna do four sets of 10 right here. We'll go up, we got 20, 20 more pounds. Uh, yeah. Once my body gets adjusted to this, this super low carb, you know what, I should just call this a low carb diet. I'm not even gonna call it paleo or keto. Low carb to no carb diet. Cutting out sugars, like, like unnatural sugars. So I can eat like fruit and you know bananas and all that shit. So I can eat like fruit and you know bananas and all that shit. Check out the Reebok, you already know promotion in this bitch. Get your Reebok shoes from Reebok.com. Use code nothing, link in bio. These are my sponsors because I'm not allowed to promote them, but for you guys, this is what I'm drinking. I've been drinking these for years. Zero carbs, 160 cal, 40 grams protein. And it tastes like healthy Kool-Aid. So it's a win-win for me. These are my incline shoulder lateral raises. I go for about 10 to 15 reps. We're just gonna come right here. Boom. Four. that medial real nice, get a good shoulder pump. Okay. 
I can even go lower in this. This kind of seems a little bit too heavy. It's only 20 pounds. You know what? Something, something like what happened to Ninja, it's gonna happen to us, bro. It's gonna happen. Something's just gonna blow up and we're just gonna take off. And everybody who was, they didn't wanna do shit with us, we're just gonna be blow up, bro. I'm gonna be knocking on the door. I'm gonna be knocking, I'm gonna be like, nah, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I don't answer the door. <laughs> Make sure I keep some chapstick coming so y'all don't be roasting me in the videos. Like, damn, Teron. Damn, Tyrone Biggums. Damn, bro. I thought these hoes was dead, boy. I'm about to be very upset, boy. Boy, boy, boy. Boy, boy. 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 All right, we got some bench. You already know what it is with that bench, boy. Yo, my abs hurt like crazy. I probably only gonna work up to like four or five. That's it. That's it. Your back hurt like crazy. Oh shit, what was the last thing we worked out? That was legs, yeah? Yo, I'm gonna do an ab wheel for a month straight. Like 100 reps every day for a month. What y'all interested in there? I gotta post 100 reps every day. So, what I really want you to focus on is this right here. And this right here. Get an ab, curl, boom. That's it, that's it, that's all you need right there. Check this out, why? The force of your grip, try this out. It works for me, but your first touch on that dumbbell or barbell is like telling signals to your body like of how serious you are about lifting some fucking weight, you feel me? Because there are days where I've come in and my approach to weightlifting it's like, to me, like lazy. Like, I know I gotta do it, but I'm lazy with it. Like, I just get down here, it's like whatever, a light, light grip, you know, not really like, like, like with purpose. And I feel like your grip, when you work out, when you're doing pull-ups, uh, barbell presses, whatever, your grip will set the tone for, you know, doing better in your workout. You gotta do it like Challenge Gambino. Your, <laughs> your grip will set the tone for your workout, and I feel like, really just like, like you're trying to squeeze the life out of the barbell, bro, or dumbbell, whatever it is you're grabbing, will help you lift better. I promise you, yo, like it, it's something that I've done and I've thought about a while, and take that into consideration next time you go work out, just like give it like a really good hard grip, and just rip that shit. Cause it, you, when you feel grip, like when you grip somebody, and you're like, you feel powerful. Like when you just grab them, you just like, like you just feel like you just toss them, you know? And that's the same type of feel you wanna be with the barbell. So listen, the grip is what matters. Thumbnail. What the hell, did I just grab a 35? I'm cursed. I just grabbed a 35, I'm cursed. Today's not gonna be a good day now, because I just grabbed a 35. Grabbing a 35 is like being on the cover of Madden. It's just not gonna have a good year after that. I don't know shit about that. pull-ups and as little as, as less as little as lessly little in minimalization I'm just we got 50 pull-ups to do and as little sets as possible um, try to get it done in three sets hell nah damn three hold on I just said 50 and three boy no <laughs> we're gonna do it in five sets boy <laughs>
shoulder. I'm so heavy, bro. Three hammer curls, 20 reps. 10 deep drop, two sets. Ah, my toe. So I'm feeling good. I can see a lot more vascularity. I don't really like being vascular like that, but like there's a certain vascularity that I like to have. And I'm like just about getting to that point. But I don't like to be like dick skin vascular. That shit's disgusting to me. I don't care what y'all say, being that shredded and fucking vain, that's ugly. So everybody has their preferences. My preference is there's a part, and this is why I do the this is why I do the the hammer there's a part right here this vein right here you see that that right there that's from reverse curl. When it comes out more the more i do reverse curls and, and hammer curls and like when i when i feel like i get the definition in this area of the bicep and i start seeing that vein a lot more oh magnifico beautiful it's sexy it's wonderful you love it I'm uh, gonna end the workout with explosive push-ups. We're gonna do three sets, five reps, starting from the bottom all the way to the box, back down. As soon as you go back down, quick reaction, poof, back up, poof, back up, poof, back up. And then when they back to that fifth one, you're gonna rep out. It's gonna be tough. The more you do it, the tougher it's gonna get each set. guys i hope you enjoyed the workout this is something you can do at home if you have a home gym if you got a bench if you got a barbell you got dumbbells you can do everything here if you got pull-up bar you can do everything here today had a great workout uh, great upper body day this was done in under an hour so give it a go uh, if it's like very like if you're like very time savvy or whatever just yeah you do your thing Woo! but mr Krabs, think about that claw that grip focus on that grip it's, it's no, the, 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 the stronger your grip, honestly, is, the stronger you get. That's a thing. That's a thing, and you don't forget it. You work on that grip. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. This follow-up video. <laughs> My name is Jeff.